Hey, what's up everybody? It is Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome back to MX Bikes where today we're doing another edition of Track Walk. We're gonna be playing Copper Canyon MX here by Tucko and we're gonna be riding the Alta Redshift MXR just because, I don't know, like why not? We we haven't done any electric dirt bike stuff in like a couple of years since I did a, a gameplay on Hawkstone on the Alta. And uh, honestly, the Alta is pretty fun in this game. Like it's really easy to ride. It's not too difficult to get stuff done on and uh, wanted to show off the track specifically and not really so much the bike. So let's talk about this track. First of all, Tucko, who made this track, has been dumping tracks on the MX Bike Forum lately. He's been doing so much work putting out tracks for everybody. And it's really cool to see how much uh, tracks he's basically putting out. Like it's basically, it seems like he's putting out like two or three tracks a week, it seems like sometimes. But um, in reality, this is just one of his newest tracks that he put out. And he was talking a little bit about how... Um, you know, this one maybe doesn't have like the highest quality and some of the other things as well, but I don't know. I really like it. And, uh, I think he deserves some praise because he's putting in so much work on putting these tracks out. Do I think all of them are like the best tracks ever? No, I think that they need a little bit of work. One thing that grabs me a little bit about this track is that like the berms and stuff like that are really just like kind of sharp embankment walls or whatever i don't know if you did it on purpose maybe to make it so that it's like that's the edge of the track and you really aren't supposed to use it but like like these ruts are okay but the the berms that are a little further down on the track kind of hard to lay into and stuff like that so don't really love that but not a big enough gripe that it makes me not like this track i still think that this is a really well put together track i like how everything is set up uh, I don't think it has any relation to Copper Canyon from MX vs. ATV Untamed, but uh, I had played it because it just uh, it sounded cool. My buddy Justin was all like, yeah, it's a good track, so I should check it out. And so I checked it out, and lo and behold, it actually is a pretty fun track. It's a kind of a short lap time. It's not, it's maybe like a minute and a half lap times, I think. Uh, probably a little bit less than that, actually. I haven't looked too hard at the lap times, but... Uh, it's kind of got like a little bit of like a local cross track feel to it, just like your local raceway. Doesn't uh, blow your socks off as like a long national type track, just like a nice little fun flowy. Got some big jumps, good little sections in the back here. Uh, it seems like it works perfectly on a 250F. He built this, uh, he even said like in the post that it's built for 450 and 250, and it totally works on a 250F because I played this track a lot on a 250F before I switched over to the uh, Alta, and the Alta rides it just fine. But uh, the 250F, I mean, like, literally, if you just rode the track smoothly, you could shift through the gears, and you had zero problem on this track. So, in that sense, uh, in case you're, like, downloading this track and playing it or whatever, it's kind of easy, in a sense, because it's almost built to have, like, that beginner-ish feel to it a little bit, where, like, it's even easy to do on a 250F. You don't need to ride a 450 and feel like you have to haul butt around the track to get all the jumps. All the jumps are set up so that you can clear it, uh, whether you're on a 250F or an Alter or whatever. I think maybe it's going to be a little bit tougher on a 125 to clear some of the stuff, but um, yeah, 250F did a nice job putting that together. And like I said, even mentioned it in the forum post. But yeah, like I said, so Tucko, he's been doing a freaking ton of tracks on the forums. I played um, two or three of his tracks already, and I liked them, and I wanted to do some of them for a track walk, but... Uh, honestly, I like kind of stepped back a little bit from playing MX bikes a ton. So now I'm getting a little bit more back into the grind. And uh, this is one of his newer tracks. So I took a look at it. And like I said, it just kind of worked out that uh, a buddy of mine had shot it over to me and said like, hey, this looks kind of cool. Why don't you try it out? And uh, lo and behold, here we are. But uh, someone like Tucko, in my opinion, is a, a big deal or like a huge help in MX bikes because look, like not... His tracks are not Astrail, they're not TFC, but they're good tracks. Like, they're not... They're the same sense I felt when... Uh, let me think of a comparison. Like, you have, like, Hagvist and Rafagus on the MX Simulator forums back in the day building tracks. But then you had, like, someone like Stephen Barrington, for example, who was starting to build tracks and do them pretty consistently in MX Simulator. And eventually, Barrington got really good, but he had pumped out so many tracks that people, like, knew who he was... And his tracks were, like, really well put together for the most part. So it kind of grew the game in that sense. And I think that this is good for MX Bikes because there is a lot of tracks out there already, which is why I started a track walk series in MX Bikes. But the more tracks, the better, in my opinion. Even if they're not, you know, the highest quality caliber, whatever, best track in the planet type of tracks, 
because it grows the base that MX Bikes has. It, it gets more content out there for a consumer who's purchasing the game, most likely with the idea in mind that they want um, some of this, you know, modded content that users on the forums and stuff like that are creating. So because of that, I think that Tucko actually is a lot more useful a member of the community than he even gets credit for with all the tracks that he's releasing. Like he's actually pumping stuff out that, you know, years from now we can look back as like, oh, remember all the good Tucko tracks from early in the day or whatever? Like, not that MX Bikes is brand new, but you get my point. Like, if MX Bikes continues on the track that it's on and it continues to develop and get better and better and better, um, I think we'll look back at some of these tracks as like, man, remember those days when he was just pumping out tracks like it was nobody's business? Like, that's cool stuff to me. Like, it's it's a good memory to have, and I'm sure in, in his sake, he's probably enjoying releasing all these tracks. So, like, good on him that he continues this trend and keeps doing it and all that stuff like that. And good on us as consumers of the content because we just get a bunch of fresh tracks to play, like, every week, it seems like. Um, so that's really cool. And like I said, just wanted to give some props to Tucko for all the hard work that he's doing, putting stuff out. And, uh, yeah, doing a little track walk here on Copper Canyon MX. So if you're not sure about MX bikes yet and you still don't really know, like, w what it is or anything, and you're just, like, kind of confused about it all and all this stuff like that, I mean, it it is slowly becoming, like, a new MX simulator, I would say. Like, it's got a lot a better aspects to it than MX Simulator does. Um, you know, obviously the ability to lean the rider in multiple directions and throw things around is a huge benefit comparison to Sim, but even like graphically and some of the things that they're setting up with, uh, you know, how you kind of mod the game and everything like that seems like it's on the right track to be um, really successful down the road. So MX Bikes is now in beta 14. It's been in beta 14 for a little while. More updates continue coming. And the uh, stock uh, bike packs, which I'm using now, is actually uh, 14 version 14.3. So they're continuing to update this stock bike and uh, making it better and or stop bike packs, I guess, and continue to make it better and continue to be more consumer friendly. And uh, there's a lot of really knowledgeable people involved in the community over there that are trying to, uh, you know, like pump up the game a little bit more. And I'm trying to do my part as best as I can. Like I'm still kind of such an MX bikes noob and idiot that like, I don't know everything about it. I'm just trying to, you know, share information that I have. And obviously in, in my side, I'm a, a content creator. So the ability to show you guys these tracks is uh, you know, like what I can kind of offer to the community a little bit, but there's so many smart people and really knowledgeable dudes putting in work to make this game better. And if you're still skeptical about it, I mean, I get it. Like it's a, it's a weird game kind of, it's got some weird nuanced things about it and some things that don't really work that well yet. But, um, you know, it's on steam. It's become much more accessible to the average consumer, I would say. And because of that, it's, I think, expanded the game a little bit more. I think it, you know, obviously had that explosion when it went on Steam late last year, but uh, it, it's not, it's not dying. Like, it, it's still growing. It's still got a really avid group of people pushing it to get better. And uh, Tucko falls right in that group, in my opinion, of people that are, you know, constantly trying to push the game to new heights with, uh, you know, more and more track releases like this. But, you know, you can't, you can't, uh, discount the people out there like Astrail and TFC and, uh, you know, Ruben Kilder and uh, Resolute Kraken with his Erzberg Rodeo that he's working on. Like, so many good people involved in this community, and it seems like it's it's only getting better as the days go by. So definitely, if you're, if you're still skeptical, I mean, just keep watching these videos and maybe it'll grow on you. But uh, if you're on the fence, I would say MX Bikes is, is worth it, in my opinion. It's something that you should definitely take a look at, give a try, and uh, I think eventually you'll grow to really, really like it. And this track is a, a track that I think you would really grow to like. So let's go over the finish line jump and then I'm gonna show you guys a couple things else on this track. Nothing really crazy special about this track other than in the pit area over here, which actually just came out of. Um, so it's just kind of like a cool little pit area entrance over here, but he actually added this like little, I, I guess it's like a freestyle area. It's just like back and forth jumps and you can just get corked on them. Like they're huge whip jumps well not huge they're like good whip jumps i should say they got really good uh takeoffs to be able to cork out whips on uh the jumps themselves are not that big i don't know if that was done on purpose to like stifle you from doing unrealistically huge whips or something like that but uh the rest of the track you know like the lips are kind of 
they're more or less meant to be like a, a racetrack, so it's not got these cool peaked out lips, but this is just like a nice addition over here that he didn't need to do, you know? Like he already built a really cool track, but to add over this uh, cool little like freestyle area where you can throw some big whips and feel good about yourself, I don't know, I like that. I like when people take the time to think beyond just, you know, what they put down as a racetrack. Like obviously environment wise, he's got trees and bushes and shrubs and all this stuff around it everywhere. He's got tree walls lining the track so it doesn't look like it just fades off the edge of the map. Um, obviously the track looks pretty good and all that business, but overall, like just kind of cool that he took time to add some different details to the environment. Like look at here, he's even got like sprinklers uh, in this corner right here that he added to that. Like even added a little flag stand over here. Just details, you know? And that's that's what comes to making an environment. Like people always forget little details. You got you got a track, you lay down the decals, you feel good about yourself, you got whatever timing gates. I don't know how it works in MX bikes, but you got these gates that laid down and all this stuff. And finally, uh, you have a track that's raceable, but if you forget to put the banners and the tough blocks and the tents and the, the stands and the trees and the shading and all that stuff like that, I think you're just releasing a very incomplete track, but I don't think that Tucko did that at all here today. I think he really put a good track together with a good environment, and uh, hence me playing it for a track walk on MX Bikes. So I'm gonna leave you guys to play this track. Head to the description below, download it today, try it on MX Bikes, throw some whips, play with your buddies, whatever you gotta do to have a good time. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking out another edition of Track Walk here in MX Bikes on MX Simulator, or on, on MX Simulator, on Start Your Systems. And uh, appreciate you guys stopping by, and we'll see you guys in the next one. So long for now.